Hey, it's Kylie here. This video is just to explain micro bevels and why I tend to use them. I was asked to do this, and I'm just going to use some arbitrary figures on this slideshow type. Well, not even a slideshow, it's just a picture I drew up in CAD. But I'm just going to use some relative numbers. So these numbers don't really matter because when you're building knives, it's all relative. So what I'm trying to show here is the relative performance increases that can occur. Now, this is really zoomed up. So in CAD, we're looking at, you know, millimeters here. Uh, so imagine that we're just talking about a standard production folding knife, for example, that has a secondary bevel. Now, a lot of production folding knives tend to be set at around, say, 18 degrees per side which is indicated by these black lines here. That's an 18 degree per side bevel. And normally I'm going to mix uh, metric and uh, American here. The heavy duty ones, say like a Hindera for example, and uh, a ZT, a lot of those heavier duty knives tend to be about 0.03 inch uh, on the sec thickness of the secondary bevel where it meets the primary bevel. So basically it means that it goes at 18 degrees per side until the blade reaches a thickness of 0.03 and then you'll thin it down an angle to create the primary grind that goes up the blade. Now a high performance knife like a uh, zero ground Scandi or something or just a a really thin custom knife might be more like 10 degrees per side and that's going to be indicated by the red we'll talk about that later now what I call sort of a, another type of folding knife like the Chris Reeve Sabenza for example my ones tend to be around about 0 0.02 inch behind the secondary bevel that's the thickness of the secondary bevel when it finishes and approximately 18 degrees per side. Now I've measured a number of my different what I call higher end production or semi-production even custom knives and they all most of them fit between the 0.02 inch and 0.03 inch and 15 to 18 degrees per side. That, that's just how they are most of them on the 18. Now we all know that thinner things cut into stuff easily and I've shown a lot of videos where I've shown how that very very small amount the entry point the first two or three millimeters of the blade where that bevel is can be crucial to how well we cut certain types of materials like push cutting into leather or wood because small radical thicknesses have a big impact now on the left hand side here I've shown the heights of the secondary bevel and thicknesses so you can see how they're going to perform. So these markers are here are the measurements for an 18 degree per side secondary bevel. Now if you look at them, if you take the Sabenza for example, which is say about 18 degrees per side, at 0.02 inch, it's only getting up to 0.78 millimeters in height before it then thins down into its hollow grind. And it doesn't leave a lot of room. It's a short, thick, stubby one. Now, if it was a hinderer, for example, type 1, that's 0.03 behind the edge or a zero tolerance, it's reaching 1.17 millimeters. Now, why this is all relative is to then look at the if we had a very, very thin Scandi type knife or just a thinner secondary bevel made by a custom maker who did 10 degrees per side for performance. For them to reach the 0.02 inch at 10 dps, they're at 1.44 millimeters. It's nearly double the height of the 18 degrees per side one. So you can see that when you think about how the leather or the wood is resisting the thickening of the knife and making it harder to split the fibers, with 10 degrees per side is going to get a nearly double the amount of push in before it gets the same amount of resistance. So it's a lot easier to push in and it can get up to 2.2 millimeters before it hits the 0.03 so it's a very high gain 
And that's why the thin angles really can push cut into leather and things so easily. Because when you look at this, there's so much less here. Now, a lot of the concern of people, of course, is 10 degrees per side is too thin. Is it going to be weak? And that's where the micro bevel comes in. And the micro bevel is to increase the strength down here without trying to sacrifice how far you can push cut in. Because when you look at most knives of, say, 10 DPS or even 18, a lot of the time the damage is measured in microns. The damage will be very, very small, less than 0.1 of a millimeter microchips, basically, 0.2 of a millimeter, that sort of thing. Uh, in the recent video I just showed with an Almax knife, my micro bevel on that was only about 45 microns high. So, you know, very, very thin. So let's look down here and look at how we can use micro bevel and why it can be advantageous. What I've done here is basically say I want the edge of the knife to be as durable as the 18 degree per side one. So I'm going to add a micro bevel which is just down here with this 0 0.008 inch is shown here. I'm basically taking a micro bevel that gets to 0.008 thick. Now that is going to give us a height of 0 0.3 millimeters, 30 microns effectively. Now this is a very large micro bevel. It's really a bevel, a tertiary bevel. It's not small enough to be a micro per se because you'd easily be able to see a 0.3 millimeter bevel with your eye. It will reflect light. It's big enough to see and understand that you've created it on a sharpening stone. Now, that micro bevel, as I'm calling it, is three times the height of most damage sustained if you hit staples, all that sort of thing that normal cutting might do to damage a thin, thin edge. But it's only 0 0.008 inch thick, which is so thin that it still has an extremely high ability to push cut into leather and wood and all that type of material. So what we do is add that before we then drop down to the 10 degree grind that we know has high performance in wood and leather and other fibers. So we quickly thin it down after strengthening the edge. Now the red lines here show a full 10 degree. The black line shows the 18 degree transition to a 10 degree. Now, of course, because it's a transition, the black lines are wider than the red because there is more meat in the entire bevel now. It's slightly thicker, even though we've dropped to 10 degrees. So the entire thing is a little bit bulkier and a little bit stronger, which means there's a slight compromise over the top one here. So if we look at the original 10 DPS, it's 1.4 millimeters and 2.2 millimeters at our two thicknesses. By doing it this way, we're getting to 1.22 millimeters and 1.94 millimeters. Now, it's a little bit less performance than the straight 10 degrees, but when you look at a solid 18 secondary bevel, it's way, way higher performance than that. Much higher. Uh, you know, it's a huge order of magnitude. It's going to perform really, really well, but subtly less. 20% less maybe than the true just 10 degree one. So we're going to get really good performance there, but the actual edge for the first 30 microns or so is just as durable in that damage impact area. And that's what the micro bevels are really good for. You, you want that micro bevel to be a little bit bigger than any damage you typically sustain by taking it too thin. And it's great to do that. Now, of course, this shows a thickening throughout because I just went straight to 10. But the reality is, knowing that I was putting an 18 degree micro bevel on, I could have easily adjusted the next bit to 9 degrees, slightly thinner, so that it would conform with the original 10 in body thickness. And that would raise the performance back up again without really lessening anything. <coughs> Sorry for the coughing. My coughing has been getting better though. I think that virus is finally gone. So hopefully that makes you understand the advantage to the micro bevels and why quite often uh, even on most Scandi knives and mores and things people tend to sharpen it at say 10 degrees per side and then after the finished sharpening they'll raise the edge up 
to say 15 degrees or 12 degrees or 18 and just lap it over the stone for a little while to create that small thicker bevel that will protect the edge against the rolling in those small things but fully retain most of the performance of the edge and of course the other good thing is that if you had to sharpen this 10 degree knife or this 18 normally especially on a highway steel if it was a 0.2 bevel you've got to sharpen from here to here and wear all of that off uh, which is time consuming whereas with the micro bevel to restore the sharpness you're now only working on this little area here <clears throat> and as you work it it'll get thicker and thicker and thicker but it's a going to be a long time before it even comes close to the performance degradation of up here and at that point you just start working on both bevels again and thinning the whole thing down so there really is a huge advantage in the micro bevels for ease of sharpening because what might take 20 30 40 strokes on a stone if you have to fully sharpen a large bevel that is you know two millimeters high only takes three or four strokes when it's only 0.3 millimeters high. Okay, I hope that's useful to everybody. Thanks a lot.